What is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we play, teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined, finally, in person with another human being. This is awesome because she kind of, sort of, is here, right? So, <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. I'm Jess. All right. So, today we are bringing y'all Commands and Colors Ancients. Designed by Richard Borg and published by GMT Games. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Big thank you to all of the patrons who help make all of this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Without y'all this ain't happening. Y'all know that is the case. So thank you. Thank you everybody who chooses to watch the show as well. And if you guys do enjoy the show, don't forget to give it a thumb down below. I Every time I say that now, I can't help but hear the creepy Martin... Give us your thumbs from Martin Fowler. It's And now you've made the rest of us hear it too. <laughs> I'm a team player. If I got to suffer through it, y'all do. So fair enough, right? Uh, give, uh, give it a thumb down below. Uh, like, subscribe. Well, I guess that's liking. Hmm. Subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so you get notified whenever we go live. And if you think the content that we create here on Heavy Cardboard is worth a buck or two a month of at your entertainment budget, I certainly would appreciate it. You can go to pledgehc.com, support the show there. You get uh, perks for being a patron, including the Slack channel and other aspect or other little perks. So thank you to everybody that chooses to do that. So, Commands and Colors Ancients. So earlier I referenced this as a block war game. That's really not true. This is a entry level war game with blocks, I think is a better way to describe it. And the reason for that is a block war game seems to intimate that there is hidden information, like there's a fog of war with the blocks. Whereas in Commands and Colors, at least in Ancients, that is not the case. Everything is open except for the cards that you draw and the cards that are in your hand. So it's a entry level war game with blocks. That's a better way to describe it. So I, I, I may have done a misnomer earlier, my apologies on Twitter. So that said, are you ready, ma'am? I am. All right. <clears throat> I am ready. Hopefully, y'all are as well. So let's get into CNCA. All right. All right. So what is it you guys are looking at? Well, Commands and Colors Ancients, normally I read the theme and everything. Our scenario that we are playing, and I will go through... Uh, the the details of the scenario later, but it's the uh, Tickinus, I think is how you say it, the Tickinus River. It is Hannibal of the Carthaginians versus uh, Publius Scipio and the Roman legions. All right, For, and this took place uh, in 218 BC is when this one uh, uh, happened. So this is the scenario that we have set up. All right, so on the board, the board is comprised of numerous hexes. As you can see, there is very little terrain on this map. The terrain that we have is this river, which is the Tychonus River, and this is an impassable, uh, not fordable river, meaning it's basically just out of play. So these hexes there, and obviously this one here, will be out of play as well. Then we have the Roman legions here. In this game, in this scenario, there are three types of units for the Romans, and there are three types of units for the Carthaginians. So the Romans, we have light infantry here. So all of these are light infantry. Then we have medium cavalry, which are these horses back here. And then we have uh, Publius Scipio, i.e. my leader, here. Now on Jess's side, on the Carthaginian side, she has nothing but cavalry. She has light cavalry, which are out here on the wings. So we have there. Then we have cavalry out, uh, light, cav light cavalry out here. Then in the middle of her formation, she has heavy cavalry. Then she has three leaders, which they are identical leaders uh, gameplay-wise. But let's just be clear, that's Hannibal. Arguably the single greatest general in the history of humankind. So there we go. Hannibal and his other two generals out here on the sides. So those are the units that are out here. Before I go any further, I want to stress one thing. There are multiple blocks within each hex. However, one hex worth of unit or worth of blocks 
is one unit. Does not matter how many blocks a unit is comprised of, that is a unit. If you are familiar with a block war game, then anytime you lose a block, it's like a step loss or it's just, there you go, it's still one unit out there, okay? So this is a unit, this is a unit, and that also is a unit, okay? A units will never be able to join or break apart or anything. So this will move as if it were a single block. Same with any of the other units. The exceptions to all of those are the leaders, okay? So we have the board of hexes. We have the units, as I explained. Then we have our deck of cards. It is a common deck of cards that both players will be playing from. And the only other thing that we have are the battle dice. And the battle dice over there, there are seven dice, and there are six different sides on them, which represent various things. And we have handy dandy little dice tray over here. So that's everything that is in this game. So how is it you actually play Commands and Colors Agents, or what is the goal? Well, the scenario will dictate what the goal is. But for each of us in this scenario is, our goal is to claim six banners. Now these banners are these little blocks out here, okay? So as we accumulate these banners, we're just gonna put them over here, over onto the side so that you guys can see how many banners each of us has, et cetera, et cetera. So how do you accumulate banners? Well, if you eliminate a unit, well, through battle, okay? Eliminating a unit is all of the blocks of that unit, whether it's three blocks or four blocks, does not matter. In addition to that, if you eliminate a leader, you get a, a, uh, a banner, a victory banner as well, all right? So eliminate an entire unit or eliminate a leader. That's how you do it. First one to get six banners wins immediately. Easy enough. So that is what we're trying to do. Now, how do you actually play Commands and Colors Ancients? Well, play alternates between the two players and the scenario specific will dictate who starts in each scenario and as it is the Carthaginians will start in ours first but then the turn sequence works the exact same regardless of anything else and we just alternate until one of us wins first thing is the command at, uh, phase which is play a card well our hands will be made up of a different number of command cards. The Romans in this scenario will get a total of four, whereas the Carthaginians will get a command limit of five, meaning their hand limit is five, the Romans will be four. So I will have a hand of four cards. Now cards look some mix like this. They will allow you to order certain amounts of units or certain partic particular uh, areas of units or do special other things on them. Now, I do want to point out that there are two dotted lines that line the battlefield out here, as you can see. So the battlefield is broken up into three different sections. We have the center with these two lines going through it. Then we have the left, then we have the right. Pretty simple. Anytime we have a card that is like this, order two units in the center, that means any two units in the center I can activate. That's pretty simple, I think. And now note, some of these hexes are going to be split by those lines. When that's the case, those hexes will pertain to two different uh, areas of the, of the battlefield. So this hex, for instance, will be the left for me and the center for me, whereas it would be the center for Jess and the right for Jess. It's as you're looking at the board. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is play a command card. Okay. So one of my cards I'm going to play down. Okay. Easy enough. Then the second phase is order the units and leaders. Okay. So do what the card says, basically, in a nutshell. All right. The next thing is move. So any activated units that you have played or that you have activated may then move. And I want to stress the may. So if you take a look at this card here, order two units center. Issue an order to two units and or leaders in the center section. So you can see clearly it's a two. So if I were to play this card out here like so, that means two of these units 
can then be activated, which only activated units may actually do anything on that turn. So if I activate this unit and this unit, those two then can move if I wish, or they may attack, etc., etc. So order the units. Okay, I say these two units right here. Okay, good. Then move. Move the ordered units one at a time. And each different type of unit, whether it's cavalry or infantry or light cavalry, I'm sorry, medium cavalry, light cavalry, or heavy cavalry, they will all move a different distance per whatever the little player aid that comes in the game says. Now, here, all of our infantry, so in this case, I'm the only one with infantry, it says that I can move up to two. Okay, so easy enough. Whereas the other side here is all the cavalry. Cavalry can move two, three, or four, whether it's heavy, medium, or light. Okay, easy enough. So I can move up to two with these units. So I activated this one. I could go one, two. Okay, easy enough. This one I could go one, two. Okay, boom, done. I moved. Then battle. There are two types of battle in this game. There is ranged battle, and then there is close combat battle. Ranged battle means when you are not directly adjacent to an opponent's units. Okay, so as you can see, I am not directly adjacent to any Carthaginian units. So therefore, ranged combat may be uh, applicable in this case. However, if we take a look at light infantry, it says for ranged, uh, ranged fire or ranged combat, you have a range of two. So then we take a look here, one, two. Well, I can't quite reach there. However, if I had my unit up here, I now have a range of two, one, two, or one, two. So I could attack either of those two units out there. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So range combat is when it's not directly adjacent, whereas when I am directly adjacent, that will be close combat. Now, I'm not going to go over the details of all of these things. I will walk us through this as we play the game and we actually get through this. I think that's going to be the most applicable uh, way to do this, I should say. All right? So, as it is, I moved. There's no battle that takes place. Okay, then draw a new card, and that's the end of my turn. Then play would pass to the next player. And you continue alternating turns until one of you has won the game, or in this case acquired six banners. So there you go. That's, that's, that's Commands and Colors Ancients in a nutshell. Now obviously there is going to be more details, especially since the majority of this game is combat centric. However, I think it makes sense to just go ahead and dive in at this point and then when we get into combat we can actually go ahead and go through everything and, and go through the cards and the whole nine yards. Does that work for you, Jess? That works. All right. So with that said, let me reset this. I will shuffle up the cards. Or actually, would you like to? There and there. All right. Now, I will give you guys the, uh, the history and the uh, background of our, uh, of, our, of our battle that is uh, about to take place. So, so the Ticinus River, 218 BC. Hannibal has completed his epic march across the Alps, but has lost fully half of his soldiers in doing so. The consul in southern Gaul, Publius Scipio, psst, that's him, has shadowed Hannibal's advance following the coastal route. He intercepts Hannibal in northern Italy as he's rebuilding his army with Gallic recruits. Gallic recruits, sorry. Neither commander is willing to bring on general battle, but Scipio does advance his light troops and cavalry, unaware of how much better the Carthaginian cavalry was than his own. Hannibal counters with his cavalry, including the fearsome Numidian light horse. That's these out here. Hannibal gives Scipio a tactics lesson. His heavy cavalry smashes into the light infantry. So literally, these guys advanced forward. These guys never actually got a shot off in actual history. His heavy cavalry smashes into the light infantry, drawing the Roman cavalry into the fight. At that point, the Numidians hit both flanks, driving off the disorganized surviving cavalry, wounding, seriously wounding Publius Scipio in the process. One capable Roman 
now knew how formi formidable Hannibal's army was. Unfortunately, three other inept Roman consuls would lose thousands of Roman uh, soldiers at Trebia, Lake uh, Trasimenus, and Cannae before they failed to heed the warnings. The stage is set, the battle lines are drawn, and you are in command. Can you change history? <laughs> so, uh, interesting note, so Publius Scipio actually uh, was gr uh, almost gravely, he was seriously wounded in this battle, and he was saved by his 18-year-old son, Publius Africa or uh, Scipio Africanus. Now, he did not get that name until he was far, far later on, but he basically went into Carthage and just wrecked shop. Uh, Scipio Africanus did, so his son was a bad man, as was Hannibal. So, there we go, all right? Well, I guess Hannibal wasn't the greatest, that'd be Alexander the Great, but you get the idea, he still was an awesome, awesome general. Anyway, all right, so, you shuffled, I will cut, and we will deal these out. And the, uh, as I mentioned, Jess has uh, light cavalry, light cavalry, and heavy cavalry. And then the three leaders, I have light infantry and medium cavalry and one leader. And Jess starts with five, I start with four. Three, four, five, and I stopped at four. All right. I will get my cards here. So we will walk through the first couple of turns pretty slowly, especially once we actually get into combat. I will bring up the chat. Place your bets on who you think is going to win, uh, whether it's the dirty Carthaginians or the amazing Roman legions. Keeping in mind the Romans actually lost this battle in real life. Keep that in mind. Uh, also, uh, over, under, and glory to Rome's, uh, we're going to go three and a half and one sparkles. If you are familiar with the show, you will understand the reference on that. And also here, I will bring these up. So we have, uh, we'll be able to move in a little bit closer with the, uh, with the PTZ camera. All right. All right. So welcome everybody. All right. So just starts. So step one, uh, as I mentioned. And I'm, the scenario's done, so I'll move that over there. Uh, all right, so play a, play a card, all right? Once you have taken a look at your cards. While you're reading, actually, I will let everyone in on what my four cards were that we, lo uh, that we drew. You're fine. Go ahead. There's a card I can't use, so I think maybe the medium's check, good in here. Check. Uh, does it say at the bottom that if you don't have infantry? Okay. Yeah. I have a feeling I knew what card that was going to be. It's, All right. it's not the idea. I was like, I don't have that. Right, I know, I know. <laughs> All right. So, all right. So there are my cards to be able to, to begin with. All right. So uh, Hannibal is definitely more, uh, more, more mobile. Um, so uh, while Jess is going over this, her light uh, cavalry can move four spaces whenever they move up to four, and her heavy cav can move up to two. My infantry can move up to two, and my medium cav can move three. So she is far more flexible than I am. All right? And your infantry has a range of, of two. Two. Correct. But remember, they have to be activated to be able to attack. So, for instance, if she were to move this here, one, two, three, four, and come in here, she is within range, but I would need a card that activates the left, and I would need to activate that unit to be able to actually do anything about that. All right? Guserino says, got to say, Jess, even without the tide of history on her side, I, I hear you. I don't blame you at all. So, all right? Don't I have the tie to history on my side? Yes, it, it, he's saying even if you didn't, he would have oh. chosen you. Which um, I cannot blame him. Oh, I don't want that right now. So the one downside to shuffling up everything on camera is we don't get a chance to know our starting hand, so the start tends to be a little bit slower than, uh, than it would have been had we, had we done this. And we've only done, she, Jess has only played this once and has only gone through it uh, with me once. So keep that in mind as well. And there's well. a big deck and you don't see everything. You do not so. see every card, that is true, so. 
So there are definitely going to be cards that she is unfamiliar with. So yeah, All what right. does command mean? So if it says equal to command, uh, it's command. your hand size. So you have right. five, That's right? What it says. So you yeah. have a hand size of five. So if okay. it says command this many troops or this many units, you can activate up to five. Or if it says move up to your command value, which means move up to five. Mm, okay. How many of you all out there have uh, are completely unfamiliar with Commands and Colors Ancients? Says you, Brandon. <laughs> Rome will see glory. I guess I'll do this. Where do you want me to put? Uh, you know why we don't need the deck on there? So why don't you go there? All right. So read it off. Order three units left. Okay. So activate three of your four units over mm -hmm. there. Which ones are you activating? Um, probably these three. Okay, with the ones without your leader then? Yeah, let me see where they move first. So they move four. So Correct. one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because for, battle, for battling, there's a benefit to them being next to each other. So I'm trying to keep There does. There. Correct. They support one another when that is the case. And I don't have to move them four. Now. Also should point out, Light yep. Cavalry also can attack. Uh, they have ranged attack. Keep that in mind as well. Right. All right, they have a range attack of two. Okay, so just like my infantry can attack yes. at a distance of two, those guys can attack. And if they're activated, they can attack. And I don't get to retaliate with ranged one, attack, two, so that probably behooves you three, to do so. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four, which gets them... Within range to attack, yep. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. And then this one's adjacent. All right, so hold on. So you played your card. Yes. That's your command. Then you ordered the units. You ordered those three. Yes. Then you moved those three. Yes. And now you may battle if you wish, if you were within range. Who is within range? This to that. There we go. So we're going to have our first battle. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is range combat. Okay. So now... What we're going to do, and I will walk you guys through how this works. I will show you guys this. Hopefully you guys can see this. So, these are Jess's Carthaginian Light Cavalry. They have a fire range of two. Okay, then did they move this turn? If they did, they only roll one die. If they did not roll the, or move this turn, they can roll two dice. All right, so easy enough. That's, mm -hmm. that's really all we need to know for the combat side of this, for ranged combat, at least, okay? Now, mm -hmm. on top of that, we then look at this table here. So we have ranged combat, and this is the type of troop that is the target. This has nothing to do with the, the troops that are actually attacking. So because Jess is attacking a light unit, as sh shown by the little green circle in it, because she is attacking a light unit, she applies one hit if she rolls a green circle. Mm -hmm. And then if she rolls any green flag or any white flags, then there she will ha apply a retreat to me potentially. But we will get into that depending on what she rolls here. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and bring up the, uh, the dice tray cam. Zoom in on the cam. I mean, make it exciting here. So... She has one unit attacking one unit, which is always the case. So then it's how many dice do you get to roll? One die because you moved this turn. Right. Okay. So then roll your die, ma'am. And that's a whiff. She missed. Okay. <laughs> because the unit that she is attacking is a light unit, which is a green circle. Had she rolled a green circle, she would have hit me one. If she had hit me one, I would have lost one of my four blocks, okay? Now, unlike in a block war or in some games where you have a diminished attack and defense and all, none of that. If you have one block, it's as if you have four blocks for the sake of you still get to roll your full complement of dice, whatever it is, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So, she tried to attack, she shot arrows, she missed. Okay, the attack is done. Now, she did not roll any retreats, unlike what Patrick was hoping for. So, therefore, we just move into, that's the end of battle. So, now you draw your card, and that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Boom, done. Cool. It's my turn. 
All right, well, now that you have advanced with your Numidian cavalry, so if I had a card in my hand that activated the right, maybe I do that. Huh. Well, let's see here. Taking a look at my cards and note that my medium cab do not have ranged combat, okay? But I do have some other cards here. Um, kind of, kind of want to hold off on these. I think I do. So instead, ah, do I? I don't know. Um, I think actually I'm going to go. I expose my flank if I do. I am going to do this. I'm going to play that card. Okay. So, I will play that there. So, I am ordering three units in the center. All right. So, that means I cannot activate anything outside of my hands here. Okay. Well, I'm going to activate this unit, this unit, and then I'll figure it out from there. So, give me a second. So, I'm going to order those two for sure. Now, these guys can move up to two. So, I'm going to move one there. And I'm going to move one there. The medium cav, if I choose to. Now, I should also point out that leaders, when they are on the same hex as a unit, they are attached to that unit. There are certain cards that will allow them to detach, but normally whenever you activate the unit, you're also activating the leader and vice versa when they are joined together. If he were to go off onto his own and he then could attach, to a different unit, et cetera, et cetera, or he could be off by himself. But as it is, he is with that unit right now. So I've activated those two, and just as a reminder, I'm going to do like so to show what ones have been activated. And... Oh debating whether or not to bring up my cab or not. Um, the fact that they can move three. Uh, oh, and I guess I should point out, you can never move off the sides of the board or into impassable hexes. Leaders can come back off the back of the board, but we'll talk about that if that were to ever happen. Um, and I'm just debating whether or not to bring these guys up or not. And, uh, nope, we're going to activate this unit here and go one, two there as well. These guys aren't going to do anything, so I'm not going to bother standing them up. These guys aren't going to do anything, so those guys aren't. These guys, however, did move. So, because they are light infantry, light infantry have a range of two, and they moved, so therefore, just like with Jess's, I can only attack one. Now, I have my choice to either attack this group or this group, and let's go ahead and try and take out the center, I think. No, actually, we're going to try and take these guys out because these guys are supported. All right. If I roll a retreat, I'll explain why that would matter. Okay. So here we go. We're going to all go ahead and take the same die. And I whiffed as well because I did not roll a green circle. All right. So unceremonious uh, <laughs> first, first uh, attacks for both of us. So I have done all my movement. I then attacked. That is all the attacks that are going to happen. I missed. I draw a new card. J-Rex, it is your turn. And there we go. That's the card we just drew. All right? And true, support only matters for close combat. That's a fair point. Thank you, Patrick. Because range, yeah, it does not... You have arrows coming down. 
So here we go. All right, yeah, there you go. So what do you got? Order two units left. Okay, so I, I'm noticing a trend here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, but now I've activated this area, so these guys can... No, it's units. Order two units. Right. So you ordered this one, and you can activate one of those other three. Okay. By not... So if I don't move one of them, then I'll get two. No, no, no. You don't have to move them. You just have to activate it. Activate means you can still attack, but whatever ones you don't activate aren't doing anything this turn. They're just staying there and not attacking. They're not moving. They're not... They're just loitering, so this cluttering one, up the battlefield. I think we're saying the same thing, but it's confusing because I'm... So this... This one can attack, and then I could designate that one to attack. Yep. But I can't move this one and use this one. Correct, that. because that would be That's three units and you I only just, get two. Yes. Um, so you've activated this one mm -hmm. and moved, okay. Mm. I guess I could use both of those to attack, but... Um. Yeah. All right. Um, Go ahead and stand up whichever one you're going to activate. I assume you're not going to move it because then you get the extra die. Yeah. If you don't. Uh, I guess I'll do this one to that one. Okay. All right. So now you've activated those two units. That's moved. That has not moved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's... This one can't do anything. So no, no. He can. He can still attack. Oh, he's not in range. You're right. Never so mind. I apologize. I'm going to set this down, yeah. and I'm going to focus okay, on Okay, so one. you're going to battle. Yeah. And now, where are you attacking? This one. Okay. Two dice, right? All right. Yep. Two dice, because yep. they didn't move. All right. So now, you'll notice that we got a uh, helmet and a cross swords. So, let's take a look here. <laughs> attacking a light unit. She got a cross sword, which is nothing. Nothing. And a helmet is nothing. Okay. All right. Swing and a miss. Cool. Or shoot and a miss, as it were. <laughs> All right. So, Down. done? Yep. Okay. Draw your card. Huh. So, I'm taking a look at my cards. I hate the idea of you getting pot shots at me if I don't do anything. I feel like the... the I, I, I'm worried about swinging around and then these guys coming around the back. Ah, uh, you did tell me what the history. Yeah, I did. I did. Right, and uh, hmm. let me take a look. I'm considering doing something aggressive. Um, Oh, that's so crazy. So what I'm debating here is playing this card and then moving these guys over this way. Um, and basically just shifting the whole line to the right. Oh, what the hell, let's try it. So I'm gonna play Order Light Troops. So this says, uh, issue orders to a number of light foot and light mounted units. I have no light mounted, so it's only going to be light foot units. Uh, less than or equal to your command. So that is going to be a total of four up to. Light foot units, including auxiliary, may move through a friendly unit, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is notice it doesn't say left or right or center or anything. It's just four units. So I think what we're going to do is I was thinking about actually engaging in close combat, but honestly, I don't want you to be able to evade, uh, which you can do in close combat. So I'm going to activate that, that. These guys are going to move. And then these guys uh, are going to move, done. All right, so I've activated that four there. These two did not move, those two did move. Okay, so that is that, now we go into battle. Now I get to choose each of, 
Uh, one, it's always one to one, so it's always one unit to one unit. But I'm going to start with going ahead here to attack there. He moved, so I only get one die. And I'm going to find a different die since that <laughs> one was terrible. So here we go. All right, so that was a, a miss because we've already seen that that is going up against light. So unfortunately, I missed uh, the general or the, the leader as well. So that was... Inaccurate there. weapons we have. Seriously, this is terrible. So there's one. Then here, we'll also attack the same group, okay? Sure. All right. Oh, we have a retreat. All right. So now we have the first thing. Now, every combat gets finished before you move on to the second combat, okay? All right. So now you notice that if you roll here, apply one retreat. Now, I'm going to look up. There, there's a bit of a... Uh, uh, confusion about whether or not supporting on retreat. So give me just a minute to look something up. Uh, Cause I don't see that. So support. I believe is, hold on, is regardless of whether it is close or ranged combat. Yes. Yeah, it does not matter. So, correction on that. Um, okay, here we go. So, they are supported. So You just can't evade. Evade is what you said. Correct. Those are two different So, things. now, I forced this one to retreat you sure, because... You sure you wanted that one and not that one? Yes, positive. <laughs> well, no, it's still okay because you have a leader and I'm going I to I do, explain. but I would have had the adjacency and the leader. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. It's still, you can okay. ignore it. All right, so a retreat is when I roll a retreat, the defender must retreat unless supported. Okay. okay, there are two different ways that a unit could be supported. Number one is, do they have a leader either with their unit or in adjacent. an adjacent hex? Well, the answer is yes, so it's supported. Okay, but let's just move on to the other example, which is the other support is this unit would be supported because they have two other, they have two other units that are directly adjacent to it, so that means they are supported there, even without the leader there. But the leader is adjacent to them, so they would be supported actually twice. So what does support mean? What that means is if you are supported for each support that you have, you can ignore one flag or one retreat. So what that means is Jess would normally, this unit would have to retreat its full distance straight back to her side. So this one moves four. One, two, three, or possibly just one, two, three. It's a straight line. They're hexes, so you get the idea. For every space that you cannot retreat, you lose one block in that unit mm -hmm. out of the game permanently. Mm -hmm. However, you, if you choose to retreat, you must retreat fully, but you can choose to opt to not retreat because it is supported. So it is your retreat. What would you choose opt to do? to not retreat. Okay, easy enough. So she ignores it as if it didn't happen. All right, boom, done. So that is retreating. Okay. So now this unit is, was activated. They did not move. They're going to go ahead and attack. And again, no matter what I hit, it's going to be supported. So let's go ahead and take out, try this unit here. So this unit here is going to roll two dice. So let's try this again. Hey, we got a hit. Oh, All right, yeah. so there to there. So Jess loses one third of that, and that's out of the game. Boom, done. Easy enough. Now, there was no retreat, there was no nothing, there's no leader in here, so we that's it, there's combat for that one. So that one's done. The next one, this one, the only one that's in range is here. Again, did not move, so they're going to roll two dice. Hey, we got another hit, awesome. There we go. All right, there and there. That is done. We've played our card there, draw a new card, boom, and done. And that is what we drew there. Hmm. All right. Hmm. <laughs> 
Kuzarina says, I believe historically speaking, sending infantry uh, into a wall of horsemen is, uh, checks notes, unusual move. Yeah, usually horses win. It's the last thing they'll be expecting. Yes, that is true. So I'm trying to keep a, a, a buffer. Whereas she wants to actually uh, have close combat because they can, they're strong when they close combat. It's just as they're advancing, might as well get take pot shots. They're obviously stronger when they're up close. So it's your turn. I mean, it's a die roll. <laughs> it, yeah, but you, it, it, it's, the thing is, is if you actually force me to retreat, you then can follow up and then you get to do a second attack on the same turn with the same unit. So it's extremely powerful. So you want close combat, whereas I want with these guys, I want to keep a, a bit of a diff, uh, distance. Oh, I haven't seen that. that, so I don't know how yes. that works. Um, so get close. Yeah. Okay, didn't know. Um, hmm, that's, I didn't, so what happens with that? Can you explain? Yeah, 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 so, I'll, I'll, okay, so if we haven't gone through close combat, but yeah. let, let, let's go ahead, all right? So let's say you were to move them there, Yeah. okay? Then you have your choice, it's one-on-one -on -one combat again, it's either that versus that or that versus that, uh -huh. okay? Let me run through the, uh, for close combat, we're gonna roll dice. Okay, just like we did normal. And close combat, however, is going to be a different table. So close combat against light troops, you're going to hit whenever you hit a green circle. You're going to hit whenever the cross swords. You're going to uh, also hit if there is a leader in there mm -hmm. as well. Okay, and then you apply retreats. Okay, just like normal, but notice you got twice as many odds to yeah. be able to hit up close. Now, in addition to that, mm -hmm. if I get the ch chance to evade, what an evade is, is basically you get a chance to hit, then I get to do a tactical retreat. The difference between a evade and a retreat is evade, I get to move and you can't follow me. A retreat is if I wasn't supported or whatever and I couldn't, then I get to move back. Then you get to follow. And then, because you have mounted units, they get to attack again, if they want, if they are still in close combat. That's nasty. Okay. So that can be really, really bad for me. So you getting close is really, really good for mounted troops especially, which is exactly what you have. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it gives me a chance to explain to everybody at Okay. Oh. Um, so I don't have medium troops, so I Correct. can assign it to the light troops. I get to do it up to command, so five. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Gusarino is a good point. You say it's a die roll. Like, that doesn't put you at a huge advantage against me. I don't want to get that one in the white. One, two, three. And remember, they can move up to four spaces each. I don't need that, but I don't really want to get super close to them. <laughs> and I want to stay out of the way and so I can retreat if I need to. And I'm in trouble if I move these guys over because then they can't retreat through these guys. But here, if you move him there, he's got one. That two, works, yeah, but it right, leaves exactly. this one. So that's what I'm trying to point yep, out. Yep. So this works. This doesn't now. If this one were here, this one would work. You'll because see in a moment. I'm going to get a chance Two, to counterattack. Three, but I have a problem here because I can't get him here without being at risk of them. Versus but if this one were here. That is true, but also keep in mind, I need to. If you're not attacking them, they're just going to hang out, unless I activate them on my subsequent turn, right? Yeah, but you're going to. Well, eventually, And yes. I have three that are going to be literally in front of six. Fair point. That, that's tactically smart. You're right. I'm just reminding you that it's I... It's less die because, uh, dice because if I get in front of them... Then they you don't, don't have, have to, to move. move. <laughs> but, I mean, it's literally just a bad yes. move. So do, my point is, do I risk this one being here where I can't retreat? Um, and then I'm able to move them all like this. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I guess I'll risk it. Okay. So there's that. All right, so you activated those four units, or so you played your card, you activated, you moved. I have one more to move of this type. Fair point. Um, they can move up to four. One, two, ah. Yeah, the board, sorry. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be right there. I think. Yep. I was here. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, I actually could get there. So I could get to that guy. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. So now there. I imagine there's going to be a whole plethora of uh, battles. So you choose. It is your honor <laughs> to know. choose. Um. Everybody move, to be clear. Yes. Okay, so and we'll walk this through short. You want to do the ranged combat first? Sure. Okay, so one die, because, again, ranged against green. Mm-hmm. So go for it. Yeah, there's okay. a hit. All right. Pink! You know what? I'm going I'm to put the dead bodies over here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know what? They don't need the dice on screen. So. Okay, I'm over. I got it. Now you can't reach them, but I'll hand them to you. So we'll put these here. There we go. So you can see the dead. Uh, All right. Um, so that one happened. So now over here. Oh, I don't oh and one other. Uh, I, who who is it that uh, pointed that out? William uh, brought up a good point that retreating. You cannot retreat through your own units or enemy I units. I know. So you could have come around and surrounded them. To where if you do force a retreat with them, then you I, I don't like that they're unsupported. The idea was then this guy being here helps this one maybe not have to go back. Fair point. Fair, no, 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 no. A hundred percent. So it was, I, I don't know that it's the right move, but I was trying to keep them together. Plus, he's the leader, and to leave him out there seemed not good. Okay. All valid points. Because okay. then they're going to be even closer to the cavalry. Yeah. No, I didn't like that idea, but I could be wrong. Okay. So now um, it's going to be close combat. So where would you like to start? Um, uh, I guess this one. Okay. With whom? This one. All right. So let's go through this slowly. Okay. So... Jess has uh, light infantry that's attacking, okay? So they're uh, close combat dice, two, okay? So now, and we take a look here, uh, unit, uh, may, it, da, 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 doesn't matter. Um, before she rolls now, hold on. I get a chance to evade if I wish, okay? Now, evading, I want to make sure that... Uh, an attacking unit, uh, I can't battle back if I choose to evade. And let me double check on evading on whether or not they can evade uh, cavalry. I don't know if they can. Light units uh, may always evade. So these guys can all, basically, she gets the hit, but then can't. Uh, Yep, they're going to try to evade, okay? So, because they are evading, that means I won't be retreating, so I ignore that, okay? So, when Jess attacks, and I want to make sure that I'm getting all this right, she doesn't get to do a momentum follow-through, and she doesn't get to do a second attack, at least. But here, so she announced combat. I choose to evade. Um, so, getting through now to evading is after she rolls, it's going to be two hexes towards my own side. Ooh, but if I do, then the other ones are blocked <laughs> off. No, they could evade to here. Mm. So that's okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think... I think I will. So... You, when you attack, you only hit on the greens, though, when I evade. So, therefore, they're evading, but here you get to roll two dice. And now, had I not evaded, that would have been a hit. But because I evaded, it was not, okay? Um, Wait, isn't the retreat? Oh, I thought that was the retreat. Okay. Yep, there you go. So just as William said, uh, you roll the attack dice for the evade, but only the color counts. Okay? So, all right. So now she missed because I evaded. 
okay? So now I have to move back two, one, two. She cannot advance because it wasn't a retreat. It was a tactical retreat on gotcha. the date. So that is done. And now you have these three still left to go ahead and attack if you wish. Mm. Which the other advantage for you of me evading is I don't get a chance to hit you back. Whereas if I don't evade, I do get a chance to hit you back, provided you don't destroy me and provided you don't force a retreat. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do this one, not this one. Okay, all right, so again, you're going to roll two dice just like last time and I will evade again. Okay, so okay. she missed. So these guys must move two, one, two. Okay. These two. Yep. And uh, da, 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 da. I want to double check whether or not I can evade just one. I think it must be two, but let me double check. Only if it's possible to evade one is it allowed. So if I do evade, he would have to come back here. Which leaves that last one. I'm okay. I'm going to evade okay. on this one as well. Go ahead. And whew, good thing I did. Okay. So one, two. But now the problem is I'm getting hemmed in. Yep. And as these guys come out, if I have to retreat, then I'm going to lose a lot of units. So now this is the last unit to attack if you wish. Yes. That. They are not evading. Oh, really? Oh, they are not. Huh. So, fight's <laughs> on now. So here we go. So yeah. you're rolling two dice. So now, just to be clear, the hits are on greens and uh, on uh, cross, uh, cross And swords. I can make you retreat, which you can't do. Potentially. Yeah. But they are supported. So, because sure. they're supported, he gets to negate, ouch. Two. That, that, well, that's kind of how it should have gone, actually, against a mounted charge. So there you go. The, the, the front ones died. They, they died uh, majestically. majestically. There we go. All right, but now they survive. Uh -huh. They did not have to retreat. Nope. Fight's on. Now I get to fight back. And let me run through the steps of this, okay? Yes, they are supported by these, so they would be able to negate one of the retreats. All right. So it's called battle back is the technical term for this. And I want to make sure... Ah, hold on, there it is. Uh, in close combat, defending unit can battle back against the attacker if they survived and did not treat retreat or is unable to fulfill a required retreat. So therefore, they get to hit. So what do my guys hit with? Well, we take a look. They have two close combat dice, just like normal, and because they are going up against light, so they hit on those as well. Okay, so fight's on. Okay. And that's a big whiff. All right. They're ranged units, right? They're light infantry against horse. They should miss. Kind of makes sense. All right. So everybody is attacked. You are done with all your battles. Draw your new card. Done. So does all that make sense? I mean, you guys have basically seen the entire game at this point now. Um, Light cav don't hit on sword. Yeah, they do. Um, he, in ranged combat, they don't. But in close combat, they do. Oh, wait. Light what units do not score a hit on sword except auxiliary and light chariots. Good call. They don't. Oh, there's but a... it was moot. So there you go. Note four, I think it is. Oh, yeah. So fair point. Thank you. Okay. And there are no elephants. Unfortunately, they all died in the Alps. All right. Uh, wow. That was that was a whooping. Um now what are we doing? Uh, uh, well, three units center. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to order three units center there. So we're going to order this one, not moving. There. 
there and there. They moved. All right. So they're going to attack now. Mm -hmm. They did move. Stop me if you've heard this before. So we will... Actually, we're going to start with the, with the, ooh, 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 ooh. you know what? These guys did not move. They're going to attack here. They get two shots at them. And these guys uh, hit, because it's ranged combat, it's only greens and retreats that matter. Here. All right, there's a green. So just takes one hit, done. And then, so that one is done. Then here. We will go ahead and try and take those guys out as well. So it's one, one, and all the same thing matters. That's a miss. And then this one we'll try and take there. Oh, sorry. And that's a miss. All right, done. Draw a new card. There we go. That's what we drew. J-Rex, you're up. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. What's Thank wrong? you, JT. Yeah. What's wrong? He's right. Line of sight. You have to check line of sight. I forgot. And you cannot... Basically, I, I don't want to throw javelins into my own dudes. Oh, shit. So, so I, can't, yeah. I can't hit them. So that's a good point. So... Uh, Did you want to move them? And so hold on. Let me move them here there and I will re-roll and that's only one. Thank you, JT. And it missed. So there we go. All right. So that was a wasted turn. Good call. Thank you for that. Yeah, that was in time. <laughs> All right. Correction. Don't hit your officer. Yes. Right. Don't hit your own dudes. Um, Friendly fire. You're up. Okay. Thank you. So right now there's those. But Yuck. Yuck. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, it all depends on what your cards are, right? You could bring this guy around to here, you could bring that around there, that around there, and that around there, and basically just really hem these guys in. I don't know if you want to, but... <sighs> well, I mean, so these two are both cent center. Correct. This is also left. Yep. But, yeah. I can't yeah, it all depends on what your cards are, right? Everything. So. So I missed it. How many of you guys out there have never played or heard of, for that matter, Commands and Colors Ancients? Or the Commands and Colors system? Ancient horse checkers. <laughs> and... while, while Jess is uh, debating, these are the scenarios that are in this book uh, that come with the base game. At least this is the third edition and I think it's up to like sixth edition at this point. So I don't, and I'm sure there are plenty more scenarios that have come out. All right. So yeah. I hear you, but I feel like I'm playing too defensively and I'm just pointing it out because maybe other people who play, you know, like have early plays in feel this way too. If I bring this guy way over, again, this is my leader. You get a point for him, not but I gotta to get mention six. the unit. What do you mean you got to get six? If I leave him here, you can just move all your people no, I on know, him. No, I, I know, but that's <laughs> only one point of six. I understand, but sure. I'm giving you the whole thing Understood. for all that. But I got to be able to activate him too. Is the other the okay? Other so I'm trying to think of this as a leader. If I were leading this, I would not be like, "Hey, you go <laughs> hang out by yourself behind them and die." <laughs> like Fair enough. this seems like a really bad thing for a general to do. I feel like my other troops will be like, "You're a jerk!" Like I don't like you. I'm not going to help you anymore, and they're going to take off. <laughs> like this. Well, another, I don't understand why I would separate them. You could them bring out. this one, two, three, four. 
Yeah. Right? Then you could bring this one, one, two, three, four. Well, they were saying both, which is like... Well, no, no, no. Hold on. You bring these guys around this way. Then you have your leader here, and you could bring these guys... But the whole point is to get the ranged combat so you can't evade, I think. No. No. You you want to... What you're doing is you're trying to... I mean, not mage. The close combat so that you can't evade. Exactly. If you surround them with these four... But I can't do that, then. Why? Why? I don't... What do you mean? You would have all four surrounding him and he can't retreat and if he can't retreat for every spot that he can't retreat he loses a block so odds are you're going to destroy that unit if i hit the retreat in my roll so and if you don't if you hit hits you need four hits between all of those and you get eight dice but i get less dice because i'm I no moved. no not with close combat uh, only okay. with only right. with ranged all right I that's guess. where you're getting confused yeah. okay Yeah, exactly, and that's the other thing that William brings up, and this is what I was saying, is if you destroy a unit, you then get to advance for free onto that space, and you get to attack again if you want. And I don't get to hit you back, because they're dead. So close combat for you is absolutely what you want to do. Get close quick and trample. Oh, that's the wrong one. Do I have one? Yeah, okay. So two units left, left, which means it has to be any of those three. Yeah. So these two can move around. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, I don't want to move that one first. Do I? One, two, three, four. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Four. One, two, three. Cast. Um. Because they hit at full strength, even if they are reduced strength. Right? Yeah, but I, it doesn't. It only stops this guy from retreating. That's so it. you should probably hit him. Okay. So they will hit, this one will hit him and then Okay. All right. So you're rolling two dice. Okay. Okay. There's one and a retreat. Now. Okay. So I take one. And this is why this is good. Yeah. I have a retreat. Is he supported? On both sides. No. No. There's only one unit adjacent to him, so he's not supported. So he must retreat. You must retreat in a straight line back. Yeah. Means either here or here. You were not allowed to go through enemy. Yeah. You were not allowed to go through your friendlies, yeah. right? So for every space that you cannot retreat, you lose a unit or you lose a block. How many spaces do they retreat? They retreat their full movement. Their full movement is two. So here, one, two, dead. Mm -hmm. And that, folks, is why you wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now this one does this one. There you go. And now you need one hit. Any extra hits or just overkill, it's wasted. So don't show off. I got none. Uh, no, that not uh, correct. Uh, no. Uh, with four light units, don't. Yeah, you're right. That's a whiff. Yep. So they survived. Now they get to hit back. Yes, they do. Against here. Yes. All right. So now they will, again, at full strength, and it's close combat, so it's going to be two. And these guys, uh, right, they only hit on green and for uh, retreats as well. Well, there's a retreat. Now, not supported, nope. so they have to go back four. Cannot. So move them back. One, two, three, and the, he loses one because you cannot retreat a fourth. There we go. That seemed like a good trade-off, though, for you. So, all right. Uh, that's all the combat. Mm -hmm. Your card's done. Yes. There we go. All right. Hey, Peter. All right. So, here is what we are looking at now. Um... I don't know if I want to waste this on it. <sighs> I don't know if I want to. Um, I think it might be overkill for that, honestly.
Oh, hold on. Wait. Let me. I'm pretty sure it's maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Make sure. Oh, okay, it does not have to be straight back. It just has to be toward your side. One, two, three, four. Get your horse back. There you go. All right, cool. There we go. Thanks, guys. I don't know where I got the straight back from, so my bad. All right. You're just doing the heavy cardboard variant of making, making it, more it difficult. harder. Yeah, right. Seriously. Um, <laughs> if you know there's what? an option, it should be the most difficult one. I'm going to. Yeah, right. See, I just <laughs> think I, that, that, that's what I cut my teeth on, right? Yes. So I'm going to order two two units on center. Um. Okay, so it's center of a hex to center of a hex for line of sight. So from here to here, that follows that line, that is okay. Okay? That makes sense. We're gonna activate here, we're gonna activate here, and they're gonna take pot shots. Nobody moved. Told you that was gonna happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, that'd be a miss. And the next one will be Seriously? Okay, it's a retreat, though. Great ducking! Yeah, right, seriously. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, okay, all right. So they retreat back four. Your way. Yes, my way. Can I do this? I can. I can yeah. put the... Well, you, you, you could go one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you got a lot of options with these guys. Oh, and then they're all, like, protected over here. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So okay, yeah, there you go. Everybody's helping and each other. And this guy's like, really? Yeah. Want to help over here? Okay. Where'd y'all right, no. go? Right. <laughs> and here's what we drew. Okay, so we're going to let you guys read this a little bit. Uh, okay, so that's, that's kind of nice. Okay. I know, I thought about blocking it. I thought about it. I know. Anyway, whatever. They know how to play better than yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, you're uh, up. They know how to better play better than me too. One, two, three. Do I want to do that? I honestly thought about bringing them around and surrounding them, but I thought it would be overkill. Okay. Oops. I think I want to do that. All right, two units on the right. Yeah, okay. I'm going over here. I like keeping them together, but I don't think yeah, well, that, that's always a good idea. It's going to be a problem right now. So I'm going to get that one up so he can do something. And then this one so he helps defend. Okay. So one, two, th three, four. That one moved. Okay. And then and two. Yeah. one, two. Yeah, but if I move this one, I can't attack with the other. Hmm. Or you just activate it and don't move him. Well, that one could attack right now. No, only if he's activated. I'm activating him, not moving, exactly. That one could attack right now if I don't move this. You're correct, right, we're saying the same thing. We we're are good. absolutely, yep. we do this often. I, I, we, different we words, exactly what you just said. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do that. So this one didn't move, so he gets to roll two. Correct, all right, so they are attacking. I. Oh, but I could get close. Now, keep in mind, you mm -hmm. can range combat there and then close combat there. Which is still two dice, so I should do that. I'll do that. Okay. I think, oh, but then he's close to the <laughs> <laughs> There's the trade-off! Mm. Oh, but I, ha I can move more, so I could do this, which keeps them a little away and they'd have to move. Well, they still would have to move because they don't have range combat. They would oh, have to move even have, if you're Yeah, there. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's fine. I'll, actually, maybe I do want to get over there anyway. It gives me more people that are green in my way. Yeah, I think I'll do that anyway and see what happens. All right. So, oh, I can't go that, but I can still attack that guy. Yes. You can range your tech because center yeah, to I'm center is that. right along the line, so yeah. you're good. So they did move. Yes. So that one. One die. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh. Yeah. 
And now, what are you doing close combat, um, if anything? Close combat, so. both of them are supported. Uh, yeah, both of these guys are supported for retreat uh, denial, if you will. I don't think it makes a difference. I'll go with that one. Well, this one's already damaged. Oh, That's okay, the other yeah, thing I'll go with about, that one, right? the damaged okay. one. So here, so you're attacking with two dice. Yeah. Okay. And oh, all right, I so I get to. Re I, I, uh, I didn't evade. I forgot. I, I, I would have, but I forgot. So we're going to hit back. Okay. Eh. There really are green sides. Really, there are. <laughs> uh, no so that's that. it. All right, you're done. I'm up. Uh huh. Um, well, now that you did that, we are going to do this. Oh. So two units left. One, two, three. One, two. We got some medium cav coming in. All right, so now with medium cav hitting light cav, they still only hit, uh, hold on, four. So these guys will hit with cross swords because they are not light units, okay? And I can evade? You can if you wish. Uh, I, yes, light cavalry can always evade foot and heavier cav. I believe so. Let me double check. I am fairly certain that's the, the case. And let's see. Medium, uh, let's see. Light units, period, can always evade. And your, your uh, medium can evade foot and heavy. That's what it was. And heavy can evade uh, foot and elephant, but there's no elephant. So... Just FYI, those are the units. So yes, you can always evade if you wish. So I have moved. I'm now going to declare a battle. So here to here. Evade. Okay, so I will hit first. So these guys are, this is the first time the medium cav have come into play. So we have medium cavalry. They're hitting on three dice here, okay? And they hit on those and those, and there's still no leader, so. All right, so can I have another die, please? Uh-huh. Thank you. All right, so that is one hit and a retreat. Okay, so one hit, so one of these guys will die. Oh, because of the swords? Yes, because it's not, because these guys are not light. They're medium, so they hit on swords. Okay, so that dies. And then one retreat, it is not supported. These guys must bug out. Okay, and now these guys will attack here. Mm -hmm. Do you evade. wish to evade? Okay. Oh, 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 wait. I thought you there evaded. was no retreat. And there's no retreat. You're right. You're right. I just was thinking a regular battle. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And like evade. You're, no, no, no. Correct me, please. <laughs> I, my bad. I'm not infallible. Um, it's two hexes. Back towards you. And the cross swords don't hit. I don't... Ah, you know what? Hold on. On evade, the cross swords do not. Yes. Ah. Boy, I'm... Okay. All right. So now here to here, you're going to evade again, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And here's what we drew. There we go. Okay. Because I can do that. That seems like a good idea, though. So, 
So elephants, when they retreat, they, uh, they rampage and they can trample both your own people and every, because they, they're like, yeah! That's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I do like that. Um, mm, I don't like that because I don't have, yeah, that's not the one I want to do. That one's not bad, but I think that one's better after. Okay. So I'm going to do one in each section. Oh, all right. Um, Ooh, what are those dice, Ellen? Tell me about it. I mean, in theory, there are going to be hits. I mean, the, 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 the shocking number or lack of hits is, well, shocking. Hmm. Okay, so this one's going to move. Um, this one's going to move. And then I'm going to activate this one, but they didn't move, but it doesn't matter because it's close. It's going to be All close right. combat. So, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Chris, ask me that at the end, okay? Like I said, don't feed the Yeah, elephants. that's fine. Okay, so just to make myself feel better, I'll do this one first. Okay, so you are close combat here. I... You know what? I'm not going to evade because you still, if you hit, I, I would rather try and take a shot and maybe take a, a hail I'll mary back. at taking out your leader. Yeah, that's so fine. I might as well. So you get two two swings at him. Go for it, and it's a light one, so you only on your color. And missed. Yeah. All right. So now I get to swing back, and that's why. And two. That was a good call. All right. So yeah. that's a hit. Now you guys get to see something. Go yes. ahead. You take your hit. Yes. Now. Because there is a leader here, what needs to happen is Jess is going to roll two dice. All right? Is it two? It's two. Uh, it's one if your unit was eliminated. But because there is a leader there, she rolls two dice. If she rolls two helmets, the leader dies as well. Otherwise, it's moot. So go for it. There we go. All right, nothing happened. She just took a loss on that. This is a good try. Yep. For you. Yeah, it was that. worth it to me. Um, I'll try these guys at that. All right, and they did not move, correct? No. And here... But it's close combat anyway. Yeah, oh, good point. Uh, they will evade, so now you're only hitting on green and... well. Which and is it's one? okay for you to only go back one? Yes, on evading it is. And they took a hit. All right, so that goes away. And then evade. Whoop. There we go. Okay, done, done, and now they'll go for there. Ooh, all right. So now, hold on. You are going after medium. Yeah. So you hit on blues. Uh, check that. You hit on blues, and a moment. Yep, just blues. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. Nope. All right. So now we're gonna swing back, and we get. Oh, sorry. Uh, three dice. And I'm hitting on greens and swords. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Nothing. All right. It was a whole lot of... Ah! Ooh, and that was it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So you're done. You're... Ah. All right. Uh... Wait, what? Green infantry never battle back. Did I miss this? Have I been playing this wrong? Where do you see that, William? 
not arguing with you, just I was under the impression that infantry can battle back regardless, even if they're light infantry. So, oh, and you had a, oh, hold on. Oh, that's why. Oh, never mind. I misunderstood. Hold on. Let me back something up. Get your horse back out here. Okay. You rolled a helmet. Yeah. You have a leader. Yes. That's a hit. It kills him. Oh. That's why he doesn't battle back, because he's dead. Okay. So my bad. Okay. So. That makes sense. I, I apologize. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, first off, Jess gets to put out one of her... Uh, she eliminated a unit. So she... There you go. That'll work. So she's one point on the board. Okay? Then, then, because of that, you now get to follow up. It, a momentum advance. If you want, you can freely move up to, because it's cavalry, two spaces, I believe, for a momentum advance. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, do, 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 do. There you go. Um, a cavalry unit, after its initial successful close combat, may advance, uh, momentum advance into any vacated hex and then move one additional hex. So, that was so the you vacated. can move here mm -hmm. if you wish. It's yes. always voluntary. Yeah. Then you may move one more if you wish. Um. But then you can battle again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there you go. So you can battle again now if you wish. Okay, and so that's the can, advantage why you want to do that. I can go on that one? Correct. So, again, because you, have a, because you have a leader, close combat, apply one hit. <laughs> There's that. So that's what I messed up. So you do not get this, but you get on leaders, on helmets, and on green you will. Go ahead and you get two. So there's a green. I should have evaded. I forgot. But now we're going to swing back because I forgot. So here we go. That's all right. No worries. I, I, pre I could not figure out. Uh, I just confused myself. And uh, that's light. So that's a miss. Womp womp. All right. Done. Okay. So was that all... Yep. Of yours? All mm -hmm. right, yeah, you're done. So it's my turn. Sorry about that, guys. Jeez. Okay. Hey. Okay. We're going to play this. Uh, are we? Hold on. Or do we? Where do we do this? I think, I think we go ahead and try that one. I think so. Yep. We're going to order three units on the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. So he's going to take his pot shots. He did not move. So it's going to be two dice for that. There we go. All right, so two dice. That's a reroll. That's two hits. Jess, mm -hmm. that's two here. That was a hell of a shot by this guy right here. You. Uh, and now this guy is going to attack there, but evading is towards your side. Just to be clear, so I don't, it's not retreating, because I do not believe that you can evade. Um, towards the unit's own uh, side of the battlefield, um, a unit may not evade if both hexes towards the side of its battlefield are occupied, but in pi or, so you cannot. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So the, the reason why you might want to evade, even though you technically can't, no, actually you can't, never mind. So this guy's going to attack here, getting three dice. Thank you. Hitting on greens and, oh, he's dead. 
and there's three heads. So there, and one. There we go. Okay. I have nothing left to attack. I'm done. That's it. Okay. Hmm. And that's what we drew. Note the bottom here. Let me show you guys this. Okay. So there you go. Okay. J-Rex, you're up. SPQ, get some. Yeah. At least I got that part right. All right, good. I wanted to save that. Hmm. You should try and get these guys out. They move so slow. But they hit really hard. If I hit with things. <laughs> but you get four dice. I didn't say I was an expert. I know, no, I'm just saying, they hit with four dice. Um, well, okay. One. Uh, I mean, but they can't do anything. Not this turn, but you get them into position so they can. Not everything is about hit, 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 hit. You play your game. I'm not telling you what to do. Unfortunately, that would require cards. Uh, understood. So, there is that as well. This right. is literally the only center I've had other than the ones that are dispersed. So I haven't been able to touch these. Fair. So I am stuck a little bit with these guys. And I guess technically I could advance to that, but I'm not going to. And because right. they would take three cards to do anything, and I have one and i've been waiting and waiting, and waiting i hear you i hear you i hear you i have a problem so so maybe once you get other cards in your hand where you could do it right i so. get but i need three of them at this point so it's not it's not been good for these guys they've been on a, a siesta um <laughs> just nothing i can out. do about it one two three so this is going to go up here and those two are going to attack but it's close so it's okay all right so who's attacking first um, so I, you activated these two? Yeah. Did you want to move? No, for the same reason you brought up earlier. Okay, so they're attacking here. So I mean, I suppose I could have moved him first. Right, if you wanted to, here. to be able to remove any evade But then and these retreat. guys, I'm right next to them and you're going to kill me. Um... I don't know. So talk this out for me. Sure. Why is it bad to let you evade? If you evade, you can't attack me back. That's true. That's so I don't fair. understand why I'm the so only... gung ho of like don't evade. Well, I don't care. Well, Go away. No, no, I hear you. But because if you roll a retreat, they move back two. It, I that guess kills it, two of yeah, them it without hits. having to have hits. That's the whole thought process on it. It is a risk, especially with him right here with the medium cav and my leader. That's a fair point. I'm not arguing. I'm not, you don't discount that. But that is the thing that you want to try and keep in mind is the reason you don't want me to evade or is because if I can't retreat, I just lose blocks for free. Hmm. Yeah, this is one of the rare games where if you buy it used, they tend to be more expensive than new because of the stickering. Because people want it to be have been stickers. Yeah, hell yeah, it's a lot of. It's well, they're still attacking there. I guess I'll do this one first. Okay, so hold on. All right, so there is one hit. Because leader. Yep. So there, but now they get to battle back. And they hit on just greens. All right. So then that was here, right? No, oh no, this him, one, right? That's and why. then here. Yeah. Gotcha. Nothing. Uh, oh, no, retreat. hold on. That's that's something because you just killed the unit. Why? You can't retreat. Right. And how much is a retreat for a unit that moves two? Two. So, one, two, dead. All right. Now, he, uh, <sighs> he couldn't retreat, so now you can advance if you want, and you can attack again. And he can advance two if you want. 
may not want to, but he could. So this one could go here. Correct, and he can attack, attack again. There. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. All right, so hold on, there you go. Nope. Because had you gotten another retreat, what would happen? Yeah, you couldn't retreat. Right, see, now you're seeing why that's advantageous. All right, so you're done. Get out of here with that. All right. So, it's a debate between those two at this point, and I think I do this one. Yeah. So, order four units in the center. One, two, three, And four, I think. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. This guy was a crack shot. Won't won't activate that one. There you go. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So he's going to shoot first, center to center. They do have line of sight, so that's going to be range combat. So it's going to be two, only on greens, and a retreat. That was, But he's supported, so you can ignore the retreat if you wish. Mm -hmm. Probably do. So one hit. That was impressive. Okay, so that was here. Well done. So then he will go and hit. Again, it's two. No, he's not. It's going to be him. Because ranged. That way it's safer. Okay. There's one hit. Again, impressive. All right. So now, Publius Scipio is going to attack. So that's going to be three dice. Third dice, please. And this is on greens, helmets, and swords. So 50-50 shot. So that's two hits, which that's enough. So that kills him. And now I eliminated the unit, so his leader now has to roll. But because it's a uh, unit got eliminated, it's only one die. If you roll a helmet, he dies. Safe. All right, so now he evades. I get to put this out. And there's one other thing I want to check for evading. I believe you can evade through your own troops. Uh, or, uh, yeah, he must evade at this point. So a moment while I check that. Uh, leader evades. Uh, one, two, or three towards his own battlefield side. You choose. May move through friendly units. Um... You can choose to evade to this to join up with that, or you can continue evading back if you want, or up to you. But if he stops here, he joins that unit. That's fine. Okay. All right. So he is done. So then they will attack here. So that's going to be three dice. No leader on this one. Oh, one back, back up before I did that. It will go there and attack first. I apologize. I forgot they can follow through. Um, I 
Oh, uh, all right, yeah. All right. So that's going to be a two in a retreat. So that kills them. So that's one more. So that evade thing was cool, but as I said, getting around in there is, I don't think, worth it at all. Okay, and now he can evade up to three. Uh, you have to roll one uh, helmet for him, or hopefully not for your sake. Okay, safe. There you go. Evades up to three, so there's that. Yes. Uh, and he can go two, and he will. And he doesn't have anybody to battle. He's done. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. You're okay. good. You're good. Yeah, okay. no, no, you're good. And uh, while you're thinking here, um, hold on. This is uh, this is good. Here. Come on. Oh, I never took my other card. There we go. Cheers, James. Thank Cheers. you. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, because there are obstructions on both sides. Okay, fine. It didn't matter. It was moot. When I shot that one, my, my guys were able to kill him anyways. But because there were obstructions on both sides, he didn't have line of sight technically. So there you go. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Stop. All right. Um... <laughs> Hmm. Hey, Rocky. I guess I just used that for that. That's such a waste. Hmm. Um. But no. Okay. I'm going to just use this for the right side, so two on the right side. Okay. Um, think there. And then just. Well, appreciate it, James. Thanks, man. One, two, three, four. And that one. Okay. Um, so. Actually, these guys have. Mm -hmm. Do I move that over there? I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so. All right, so who's attacking what? Um, that one. I get no. They'll both attack this one. Okay, so which one first? Sure, this one. Okay, so two, and you're hitting on blues and no leaders, so just blues, right? Yep. So blue and a retreat, and I am not supported here, so I lose one here. And. Oh, thank you, Hector. Uh, so these guys move three. One, two, three. Yep, done. Well, that was done. So now he gets to move here, and he can go one further, and then he can attack again if you wish. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll do that because otherwise he can't attack. Well, he'll be able to now do a ranged attack. On right, him. but that's why I had yeah. to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, same thing. <laughs> Literally, same thing I was saying. All right, so he's a t uh, he has to finish his attack before he can because this is technically the same one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, hold on. Woohoo. That was close. And that looks like a one hit on mm -hmm. that. But now they get to punch back and three dice. Hitting on greens and swords. Uh, that's one. All 
All right, uh, that's done. And then this one. Yep, and did he move this turn? Yeah. So it's only one die? Mm-hmm. Okay. And hitting on a blue. Hit him. Got, got lucky. Pros don't ask how, they ask how many. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, and no evading, no nothing on that uh, since it's a ranged combat. So you're done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... Oof. Um, it really sucks only having one leader for leadership cards. Whereas you have there, 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 like, ah. Uh, um, there is so, I so badly want to go after him. Do it. But I don't want to surround him. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping he'll come to me at this point. Uh, right, so. well, I, I hear that. Um... <clears throat> Oh, so here are my cards. Oh, that I just no. Oh. All right, I'm going to play the leadership any section card. So my leader and up to three units. Uh, directly adjacent, so that's just two. one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to go there, and he's going to go there, and they're going to attack the leader. Now, leader specifically must evade if possible. Um, but normal, normal attacking on this. So here we go. Three. Uh, the leader will attack. So. Three. Oops, sorry. And leaders can escape through enemy units, yes, but they have to roll. But I just don't want to put myself in harm's way with the with the heavy calf. So uh, that 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 killed him. So there you go. Um, so there, and that's another point. Okay. He could advance. Elects not to. He's all set right there. I'm done. Here's your story. Oops. Here we go. So here we go. And that's why you kind of want to keep that connected. So there's that. Okay, I'm going to counterattack, which lets me do what you just did. Oh, okay, read the card. What's it has it? to be in the same region, okay. which is fine. Issue the same order that your opponent just played. Um, for this one, it's when countering leadership any section, your orders must be in the same section. Okay. So that's fine. Um, it'll be these three because it's this and adjacent. So, this sucks. one, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two. Uh, Hi, how are uh, you? I was hoping you'd come to me. I didn't have a way to get there, but you kind of plowed the field. I appreciate it. Okay, so now they're going to attack. Um, okay, so we have, uh, whew, all right, so you are heavy, heavy infantry, or heavy calf. Heavy calf hits with four dice. Um, and, uh, let me see, Ch -ch -ch -ch. at least my guys are supported, so there's that, but we may want to evade. Um, Mine so four two, dice, so and he's going against mediums, or she is going against mediums, and when I attacked, um, uh, nope, so on blues, on swords, and the one with the, uh, unit 
with, with the leader also as a leader. Okay, so now, Jess, who's attacking what one at a time? So I still get the point if I get rid of these three? Yes, because that's a unit. And then it's this guy. Correct, that would be, be two units, point. kind of. Uh, leaders aren't units, but you still get the right. point. Right, so it. I'd still yes. get the point. These would go away, I'd get a point. So I guess I would go there. Okay, with what one first? Um, we'll, s we'll start with this one. Then. Okay. Uh, so, this one hits more, right? See, here, you're thinking about it right, right? Because if I evade, then yeah. I get to back up and the other guys won't get a chance okay. to hit. So he's going to hit that one. Okay, so I'm going to evade. Okay, so you hit on... Uh, but that stinks. Now he can't hit anything, whereas this one could go here. There is that. No, but... so this one, this one. Okay, so he's going to evade. Okay. All right, so you're going to hit on blues and blues only. Okay? Okay. All right. One. So one and ignore retreat. the retreat. Yeah. Okay, so one of these. So that will go away. All right, so then uh, evading is two, and we will go one, two, question mark? Yes, done. Okay. Hmm. Now this one will go after this one. Okay, so I will evade again, and that will be, uh, that'll be just on blues again. No, helmets. Uh, and helmets, sorry. Thank you, because you're leader. <laughs> Nothing. That's a lot of... Re oh, my God. I know. Whew, good thing I evaded. Yeesh. All right. On... Yep. Two. Done. Mm. And I didn't get to follow because I hit? No, because I evaded. Oh, right. That's why you can't it. follow through. Okay. Right? Momentum follow. Or, okay? Mm-hmm. Right. Ah, thank you. I need to roll because that took a hit. I need to roll my two helmets, potentially. Thank you. Safe. All right, good. Publius Scipio has survived. Okay. <laughs> All, right, All right, you're done? Yeah. Don't forget to draw. Okay. Uh, well, now what are we doing? Um... No, there's not. Okay. Hmm. I think. I think we're going to go there. So order medium for troops. So up to my command level, which my command level is four. So it's going to go one, two. One, two, three. One, two, nope. Ooh. One, two, three. That's my third one. Oh. And we're going to go there for my fourth one. And then these guys are going to attack or well, hmm, one at a time. He will attack there. Are you going to evade? Here to there. I can only evade one. Correct. And then you're still going to be in range of both of them. No. Okay. So here to here. So three dice, please. And I'm hitting on blues and swords. Uh, so that's a blue, but no leader. So it's one. And now, yep, you I got mean, it. Not a blue, a green. 
sorry, a green, I apologize. See, it's what you're hitting, not who's doing the hitting. So now you get to swing back and you get uh, two dice on blues and just blues. <laughs> Oof. All right, so then uh, the leader will attack here. So three dice. Hitting on green, swords, and helmets. Swords, got them. So there's that. Penultimate one. Can advance and then advance one more. And we will. So now, attack here. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to evade? Um, is that only friendly fire for going through a hex? Like, if it's, like, is this guy able to hit there? No, it still would it'd block line of sight right there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I will. You evade. So yeah. I'm only hitting on greens and helmets with that. Two. I'm rolling way better than you are, clearly. All right, and now I can move, to, uh, must move two. Done. And you evaded so that uh, this guy can still attack. Mm-hmm. And he uh, will attack here. Mm -hmm. Same thing, are you going to evade? Sure. Are you sure you want to? The reason is, because if you get one hit on me, it gives you a victory point. Because I'm hitting on swords and greens, but that's it. Whereas you will hit on just greens, but you at least get a chance to come back, and there's only one here. You see what I'm saying? I. Just giving you all the information. You make your own decision on that. Okay, I'll stay. Okay, so um, that is greens and swords and a retreat. Yeah, I forgot the retreats. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Two, three, four. I want them to see my cards because that was that was really bad. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, they really should see this. Okay, then go for it. I mean, that's fine. It's all about a learning game for them. So here, um, if you want, let me let me. I, I won't look here. Seriously, I won't. Because maybe they know something I don't. Okay, but I hold have, on. Not looking. I don't have options, and that I needed to stay up okay, there to so do anything. Okay, so hold on. I I need to move this left, right? Yeah. Just come across it. So I have good cards, but I need to be somewhere oh, to do it, and then I have, like, no movement. <laughs> so I'm kind of screwed. Hold on, I'm trying to do this blind, so there you go. Not yeah. looking. So one of them, the center one, would have been great. I mean, uh, the second one would have been great if I had been up there, but too little, too late. Oh, this is messed up. There you go, I oh, think. Oh, and helmets didn't hit on evade. Uh... Ah, that's right. What, which one did it? I think it's here. Put one unit back. No, I think it was the one you killed me on. Was it? Yeah, because that's the one I just pulled back, right? There was one you got a victory point for. Well, no, on an invade. Okay. Uh... It wasn't the second one. There was no helmet okay, in the second the, one. Okay, they'll clear it up, and Patrick says use the far right card. I don't know what it is. I don't understand that one at all. <laughs> then, then, okay, then, 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 then... I don't know what that card is. <laughs> then, then read it. It's fine. Okay, we'll do that card. I don't okay. know what this is. So read it, read it out Roll dice equal to command, so five. For each unit type or leader symbol roll... What are we doing with this? You need to figure that out. Um, we will. Go ahead. Um, for each unit type or symbol rolled, one unit of the appropriate type or adjacent to a leader hex is rallied. Um, okay, keep, keep reading. Replace a block in the understrength unit. Rallied units are ordered and may move in oh. battle. Okay, so you get to basically come that back into strength. That only helps this guy. Well, he, 
No, because they're not under. Oh. It literally does one thing for me. It didn't seem very beneficial. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't think so. Pat like, this guy's not really my big concern over here. And he's that's the only thing. And then he can do something, but he can't do anything because I move four and, and what? I mean, I guess. But then he can attack back. That seems pretty dangerous. Yeah. Only if it's adjacent to a leader, it says. To a leader's, it says in or adjacent to a leader's hex. One unit of the appropriate type in or adjacent to a leader's hex. So if it's not the case that it's only in or adjacent to, then it's yeah. super beneficial. But I don't think that's you. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Make no. Sure. Uh, all right. So rally, roll dice equal to uh, one unit of the appropriate type in or adjacent to a leader's hex is rallied. Replace a block in the under strength unit. Okay. Rally units are ordered, and so activated. Yeah. It's. It's literally just this guy. Yeah. It is. I'm not, yeah, yep. I'm not thinking that's a big, big help for yep. me. Play the card that you had in center is what Kyle is saying. I wanted to use that one. Um, so that's really the only one I see I can use. I agree with that. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I wanted to do the second one before that to kind of bolster it and make it more. But um, I, that's, there's really nothing else I can do. Um, roll dice equal to command. Oh, I am Spartacus. Okay. Yeah, it is right. the Spartacus one. So mm -hmm. you get yes, five dice. Yeah, I don't know where they went. They're oh, right, right in front of me. They're behind my cards. Okay, so uh, what are we what are we looking at here? Roll dice equal to commands. For each unit symbol rolled, one unit of this type is ordered, and a leader symbol orders any unit or a leader. Units may be ordered in any section. Ordered units battle with one additional dice this turn. So yeah, oh, that wow. was my best one, but I wanted to do this, yeah. Okay. Kind of bolster it. All right, so two heavy and a leader. So it's two heavy and your choice. Okay. Mm. So I, I can't remember where it went. I'm good with that. What was that? For the, the one that I shouldn't have hit. That was the first one, but that one gave you a point. So if you didn't kill my unit, you don't get a point and there's okay. one out. Okay. So I don't know which one, because it, it was the first one where you hit it. You hit with him first. But I don't know where it goes or what he should do at that point. Um, well, if that's the case, what would have happened is you would have gotten one more back because he wouldn't have been able to follow through. Yeah. So if that's the case, he will have been there, right? No, he was here. There wouldn't have killed, which means I wouldn't have gotten that one. And you would have evaded, so it would have been that. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, so I can move now these three, basically. I mean, I could use these, but, and I do have that one. But since I'm using, mm, oh, no, he can still do a thing, so I think I'll leave This is that. going to be really bad for me. They do get an extra dice, which I would have to roll well. You don't, no, you just need to not roll terrible. I mean, you, one, two, three. Don't, don't talk to the universe like that. <laughs> um, okay, so any section, and so basically I could move these three. Is it, it's that one? All right, that could be it, Peter. I'll buy that, go ahead. Okay, so. They can move two, right? Mm-hmm. They lumber. I think. I want to do that. Or actually, wait a minute. This one was here. So I could get this guy here, get some in range of two. That, no, you don't like my plan. No, I, I, I'm not critiquing it. What, what I am saying is this guy is then not supported if your leader isn't in the center between them. That's all I'm saying. Well, they're not in the center anyway because I was pushing them that way to oh, give okay. me options because you keep running away. That's a fair point. I, I, that's fair. 
And this way, at least I have. I can't exactly can. evade that way, right. so that's a fair point. Yep. So I was just trying to get where if this guy runs, then I can hit this guy, then I can hit this guy. Basically, that I get three hits. Uh, and don't forget that units adjacent to leaders also get hits on leader rolls. That's true. Yep. So I don't know what that means. So uh, these guys get leader hits too. So. Oh. So. It says note three on the back of the folded chart. Ew. Mm. Oh, a friendly this... leader must be attached <gasps> to the attacking unit or in a hex adjacent to the okay. attacking unit. Okay, okay, okay. So now they're adjacent. So now I hit on the leader thing. This guy can't run away. Correct. Oh, God, here. All right. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be bad for me. So you roll six dice or five dice for these. So what order? Um, Who's hitting what? Well, we're hitting this guy because he can't run. Correct. And I'll kill him first. Well, no, dies. they're going to put up a hell of a fight. <laughs> Easy there, killer. Easy. And it doesn't matter which one I use. I'll use this one. Okay. But it doesn't super ma uh... Well, it does because who do you want to follow up if you destroy him? This one because I want him to okay, go Okay, so do you think it's going to be on the first set of rolls or the second set of rolls or the third set of rolls? <laughs> I'm going to hit with this one to this one because I don't okay, think it's going right. to be on the so first. So you're rolling five dice. Oh, it doesn't. If I hit with three... So you're rolling five dice. What do you hit on? Tell me everything you hit on. This helmet guy. Yep. And blues. And that's it because they're light. Oh, no, they're heavy. Uh-uh. You get more than that. So check that. So hitting on heavies. Here, here, and here. And retreats. So you see this, right, Jess? Reds, swords, retreats, and leaders. So it might be now. But keep in mind that these guys will still be adjacent to your leader, so they'll get the bonus Oh, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, that's All true. All right, so okay, these guys are guys. hitting here. Yeah. Five dice because the plus one. So reds, swords. No, blues. Sorry, blues, swords. That's three. Yeah, blues and swords, sorry. And In this retreats case. and leaders. But I didn't So hit that's those. three. So that's So done. that's uh, one, two, three. Okay, take your victory point. They get another hit if they would like. Yes. So I do that again. Okay. On well, somebody. Where? So obviously these guys are wasted, but they did. They're still at supporting via this one. Okay. Well, maybe. Yeah, you're right. They are wasted because there's no range attack. Right. So okay. okay. So hold on. You're hitting here. Yeah. I will evade, which means you only hit on blue, and blue, the end, but five. Nope. All right, so I evade, so that's two, one, two, done. Okay, so now these will hit there. Okay, and they will evade, you will only hit on blues. Oh, and leaders, I see. No, because I'm evading. Oh, leader doesn't it's do anything. It's no, right? It's only on... Oh, only when normal attacks will that happen. It's only the color. That's what I was screwing up earlier. Okay. So there. Ten dice, not a single blue. That's unlikely. Whew. Whew. All right. Done? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, now I'm in bad shape. Um, Oh, and read the bottom of the card. Oh, yeah, we have to reshuffle deck and discards. Okay, so we will do that. Thank you. Yeah, everyone's like, ooh, that was, that was rough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, never, I never had a good relationship with dice. That is true. <laughs> Being a trooper, though, I appreciate it. Um, so I need to avoid the middle. I need to come around to the left side clearly is what my plan is. However, um, 
not really set up for that real well. Uh, I think we kind of punt on this round, on this turn, which feels ugly doing. Cut. And, uh, okay. <sighs> Oof, I have terrible cards for this right now. Um, Mm. All right, so you know what? I'm going to get rid of this card, so I'm going to play Order Heavy Troops. I don't have any heavy troops, so I can activate one unit of my choice. One, two. Gonna try and take a pot shot at him. And hope to kill him. So I get one roll, need a green. The end. Standard. <laughs> you guys saw my cards. There was a card I was gonna use again. And uh, done. Things. Okay. That so was that was that pretty second gross. card we talked about is currently useless. Useless. Let's see what this thing is. There we go. Um, I have a card that requires me to be a G. Six, Kyle. Six. The enemy. Guess what? I am not. Okay, so I can't use this card. Cannot use this card. Cannot use this card. I can use two thirds of this card. And this card is useless. I have one card that is useless. Well, it makes your choice real easy. <laughs> yep, because there's literally nothing else that's an option. So, pull cards better, roll dice better. Clearly, that's the goal of the oh, game, Jess. Goodness. Come on. Um, issue orders to one unit and our leader in each section. Again, I can use two thirds of this. Um, I mean, at this point, just go big or go home. One, two, three, four. Uh, mm. I happen to have a copy of Napoleon's Triumph in the library, Chris. One, two, three. No, hold on. It's heavy, right? So yes. it only moves two. Oh, I forgot. One, two. That sucks. All right, fine. It's just this guy. One, two. I'm going to die, but I got no cards anyway, <laughs> so we're just going to try. All right, so this guy is going to attack. If I could make a suggestion. Yes. Maybe, instead of moving him, yeah. right? Or you move him here, because these guys can't evade or retreat, and these guys don't hit nearly as hard as these guys. Okay. So there. That makes sense? Yeah. All right, so that one... All right, so what are you doing where? We'll start with this guy there. Okay, so you're hitting with four dice, mm -hmm. hitting on greens and swords. Yep. Okay. Wow. One. <laughs> wow. I told you this was gonna happen. I put him around the back. The rest of my <laughs> troops were like, you're a terrible leader, we hate you. We so, are, we're gonna drink beer and not listen to you. We're hitting two on just reds. And whiffed, all right, there we go. Um, okay, so that's, that's that battle, and then here? Yeah. And so you're hitting uh, two on blues? Yeah, and? And uh, helmets. Well, yeah. One. So one? Okay, so that does So that on. kill, uh, I could have evaded, it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have, though, but there you go. And now, hold on, yeah. you can advance and you can attack again if you wish. You can advance up to two, remember. So you can go here and go one more space if you wish. Um, so you could come over here to be able to hit them. Because they don't hit back as hard? Yeah, right, because they're green. They don't get swords. But then this guy's still... He's, he's a... 
Understood. I'm just offering that as an option. Eh, sure. Okay, so who are you hitting? Yeah. All right, so it's two on greens and helmets. Mm -hmm. Helmet. So there's one. I'm happy with one at this point. Seriously, like, if I, I don't hit blame anything. You. Yeah, it's been pretty ugly. Uh, they will hit back, and they will hit uh, only on greens with two. And whiffed. Okay. All right. So that is the end of your turn. Yes. Draw. Um. <laughs> That's hilarious. Medium can't evade from light. Yeah, correct. I didn't, though, did I? Oh, I could have, I said, but it wouldn't have. Right, yeah. Thank you for the correction, JT, but it was moot. Um, Good note to make, though. Agreed. Oh, God. Where do I get my last point? Um, hmm. Okay, I guess it's time to do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, Hail Mary. Leadership, any section. Right there. So leader in three other uh, adjacent. So these two. These guys will go one, two. And then these guys will go one, two, three. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> All right. So these guys are going to pot shot, a green, and it's over. And they move, so I only get one. Miss. Then these guys will attack. Are you going to evade? If you, if I hit, I will hit on greens, on swords, and helmets. If you don't evade, if you evade, I hit on green. I'll evade. Okay. So I'm hitting on green, and I get three. If I roll a green, it's over. There, there we go. go. It's over. Okay. Put her out of her misery. Seri no, it's not that bad. No, no, no. I'm just saying. But the it way was you always roll, so. no, no. But even the cards, I no, never. No, no. Right, let, let me see them now. So here, yeah, throw them out here. Yeah, let me see. Useless, nothing here. Useless, nothing here. This ad did one over here. Useless. Dark in the sky. Every time I set up for my range. Hold to on. All range weapons may fire twice. Every time I set up my range ones to be able to hit you, you'd move. <laughs> every time. Useless. Clash of shields. I was going to use this, but every time I got myself so I was adjacent to you, Clash of shields is I can hit twice the one, or, or yeah, twice the ones that are adjacent to me, and every time I got close, you moved, and I only had two cards. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, they they just mutinied after I separated them. <laughs> they were like, "You're the worst poker face." Just there's no poker face on Jess. Uh, Jess doesn't have poker awesome. face. That's awesome. There's a reason um, Jess doesn't play poker. It, it, statement of fact, I, I've offered to teach, and yeah, we anyway. When I hang out while he's playing poker, he only shows me when he wants me to make the face, so that then other people will react to the face I make, so that they can then think one thing while he's doing another thing. It's a whole. You know that, I know that you know that I know. All right, so Commands and Colors Ancient. So obviously a lot of randomness with the draw, uh, luck of the draw as well as the dice. You could not have rolled worse if you try. Um, so thoughts on the game though. Not the, our particular game, or, or we can start Make there. sure that you have diversification in where your units are. Okay, right. Not having units over here. I kept thinking, so I knew I needed to spread out. I kept telling myself, Jess, you need to spread out because the cards are regional based in a lot of cases. So you should spread out, Jess. And then I'd be like, nah, I can't keep pulling left section cards. At some point, the odds are it won't be a left section card that I get. So I wouldn't do it, and then I'd get another left section card. So diversify where you go across the region. There's something That's to be important. said for consistency. Yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> do that very well. Um, I definitely think I played this differently 
having played a different background of games up until this point, yes. I think I approach this game very differently than a war gamer would. And as you said, this isn't a block war game, so no matter what, people are going to have a varied background approach to this, I think, which is going to make for interesting gameplay. So I actually think that's an interesting part of it because this is unique um, and it, that it's not hidden information for the blocks, right? right? So it all being out there, I think it's a good introduction um, to that genre. Um, because the blocks I are don't the actually game. have a problem with the randomness in games like this because, again, Fog of War, I believe that even with this, you know, you can plan your battles as best as you can and you still have that, is it really going to go the way that you're planning it? it Messenger you know, got killed on the way Right, I mean, you, you're nicer. See, for me, I always think of my troops as, like, drunk ingrates. And so I... <laughs> I tend to think that maybe they just had too much mead last night, like, or they're mad at me as their general and they're just not showing up. Like, so, um, and as you can see, this is actually pervasive in my thought process. I'm like, I might piss them off if I do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to roll badly the rest of the game and they're not going to listen to me. Um, but yeah, so I take the theme pretty deep. But you no, know, I still enjoyed it. It was not, you kept saying I was being a trooper. It's fine. Like, you know. I don't feel bad about rolling badly. So there's a difference. In a game where I'm working up a huge strategic move and then one dice roll determines whether that, oh, that huge work up, that build investment up. Yeah, 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 yeah. of my brain works or not, yeah. that's ter that I'm not gonna be happy with. In this game, no. Like, I have cards. I'm pretty restricted on what I'm gonna use, as you saw. Um, I could have managed that better, so there's some mitigation there that I did not do. And, um, yeah, no, so it didn't actually bother good, me good. that I'm not rolling well in that game. Um, and I think I had that same problem in another war game we played, was it Maria, or? No, there's no dice in Maria. No, there's not in Maria. The other one else. we played with Asher, yeah, there was, there, that's happened before, where yes. I've just completely annihilated yeah. myself with dice rolls. Um, but again, when it's that type of format where no, it's not a huge brain burn to decide what I'm, card I'm going to use or where I'm going to go. Is it frustrating when you move when I'm trying to set something up? <laughs> sure, but in a way of like joking, jabbing, like, ah, you messed up my move, not like I'm right, super yeah, yeah, frustrated. Because yeah, sure. it was not a lot of expense on my part to make that happen. I played a card to get close to you. Okay. Like I didn't plan out math for two hours. So no, I, it's, I actually enjoyed it fine. I think it's Obviously, it's meant for two players, so people who are looking for two player games in this climate that we're in, this is great. And it kind of tells a fun narrative, right? Yeah. Like, okay, wow, hey, the, you know, the guys rebel, whatever, you That's know, the, the line broke. I'm blaming and, them. Like, right, this wasn't I, my fault. They well, didn't listen. Patrick, we are drunken and great, so <laughs> there's it. that, right? There, there, it was these jerks. Like, if they like, listened hey, to the me. The plan was there <laughs> if you guys would have followed the plan. Yeah, yeah, so I don't feel bad at all in that game. Plan. Right. It's just a fun game to play, but I think you need to look at it that way. Yeah, it's and just, it's beer and pretzels. Um, it's, it's not a heavy so war light. game, right? It's so it's, like, ah, do I do this one or this one? I was really happy with the I Am Spartacus. I knew I was going to be able to use that one. I wanted to use it better, but yeah, it, uh, it's, it was fine. It was yeah. a good game. I, I really enjoyed it. And uh -huh. again, with me being a huge Roman history buff and everything that, that I think this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, historical battle obviously clearly abstracted and everything and the fact that yes i know it is just a faceless leader out there but you know what that's hannibal hannibal survived right the, <laughs> the scourge of rome is there and publius scipio who was gravely wounded was not Mm -hmm. he, went, he went out and delivered Changed the final history. blow, right? It shows Changed you history, how tenuous right? these things are. Right. So, yeah, that, to me, it's fun. It's a good time. Yeah. Uh, and to be honest with you, once you remember, very simple concept. If you evade, you only hit on colors. If you're not evading, you hit on all the colors and the swords and the helmets, depending on whether or not leaders are there and what level of attackers they are. Once you memorize that, the rest of it is really, really simple, and it's just boom, 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 back and forth. But there's still choice there. I mean, oh, one hundred percent. When you there's first taught me this, and we yeah. were first playing it, I was like, why wouldn't you just always evade, or why wouldn't you just always do this, or always this? You really wouldn't. There's really times when yep. you're like, 
no, actually I'm going to stay or I need to do this. Again, because of that, di the diverse cards that are available to you. So, no, it, they, like your decisions do matter. Yes. Um, so. Yeah. I mean, and obviously there, there is that, that randomness that it's, it's going to turn some people off and other people, it's but not going to be a But it's a war game. War games are not, you can't. Well, they, you can't have it to where it's, it's a... Uh, Predestined? Uh, yeah, like, de deterministic. Deterministic, yeah. exactly. It can't be, because no. otherwise there's no point. Yeah, yeah. the wars anyway. were like that. Yeah, so I, I think that that works. Yeah, yeah. And, and if the dice do go badly, you have a built-in excuse. So there's that. Mm -hmm. oh, I wanted to drunk in greats. I think you know what I wish it had the ability to be like all these cards are going to, to, to dump cards <laughs> right as like a like, oh, like, this is like a once per game thing. <laughs> Something I would like to be able to to you refresh know, my. <laughs> so in that and I mean there there's a house rule potentially right like yeah, you have a little token a one time per game you can dump your hand and dump draw your, your hand, hand and draw something again. like that yeah. right. I would have tried that. I promise you that wasn't. I didn't like those cards. And then there's Kyle, who's like, "Hey, there are tools available. It don't do, uh, a good a good craftsman doesn't blame his tools." That's what he said. Right, Did yeah, I not? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, this no, was one hundred percent. Yes, legit. So. I pissed them off. They didn't like me anymore as their leader, and <laughs> I take full responsibility for that. Well, there you, you go. Roll up. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, Commands and Colors Ancient. So, Jess, thank you for uh, for doing this today. That was fun. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody at home, for chilling out with us on a, what is today, Friday? Friday. A Friday afternoon. So hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. Continue practicing social distancing. Do your part. Do Be responsible. Be safe. And I will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another... Uh, Another solo war game. We're doing a Field Commander Napoleon, Sans Migraine. So there you go. Looking forward to this one. Should be a good time. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thanks everybody. Like, subscribe, uh, hit yeah, hit the bell, and support the show over on pledgehc.com. Like James and the other 808 folks who have chosen to support the show. If you think it's worth a buck or two, I certainly would appreciate it. I am Edward. I'm Jess. Catch you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. I appreciate you taking it easy on, or no, 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 no. It wasn't you. <laughs> the dice It was the easy. troops. <laughs> yes, 100%. So I just, I bribed your troops. I, you, apparently. You, you were apparently. They just. Uh, yeah, more, more beer. Uh, yeah, I, I, I offered beer. Yeah. <laughs> Although, true story. I'm a tyrannical leader. Hannibal offered freedom for the slaves. He offered a citizenship for the freemen. And he offered free land for all of his troops in this ahead of this battle and they whooped ass in real life so there you go